Okay, we are going to try something different, and that is that I'm doing this in the morning before I've pretty much done anything else, um, for various reasons. So, let's see how this goes. My computer is actually going in the background, so it might look a bit different and sound a bit different uh, as the lighting is different. Uh, oh no, it might not be that different, because I do actually have the light on in the room. So, anyway, what I thought we would do is a Lego set, but I can't find it, uh, amazingly. So, I got another one of these things. I have actually, um, uh, the car that I had, I did actually solder all the wires together, and I got another one, of which I also have soldered the wires together, but I don't know where that is. So. <laughs> And I'm like, if it's too much, it's too early in the morning to search around for things. So what we will do is just, uh, I hope I didn't actually show my address on the package here. Pretty sure I didn't. Uh, the neat thing about this this one is that they they sent you like a little, <laughs> there's all these little, little funny things where they're like, give us five stars, please. I haven't given them five stars yet. So uh, I have to say that AliExpress, this came from AliExpress, uh, I find that the, uh, the way to provide feedback is kind of like it's like it's like they're trying to make you not give feedback like it doesn't seem very intuitive like it used to be better and if you make a mistake you can't sort of go back and like if you confirm your order you can't go back and uh, do the the feedback very easily i don't know what it is but it's just annoying uh and i like wanting to give people feedback but it's they need to make the system as simple as possible to give feedback and look they sent me a little badge with a, with, a, with a flower on it which is quite nice as well so that's um, that so I, I, I'm going to give them five stars there's not, nothing wrong with their service uh, and they gave it a nice pink bag so anyway this is a little aeroplane <laughs> this will not take very long which is good because it's the morning and I have to go do stuff like uh, actually have breakfast and things uh, I'm trying to get up earlier and not eat for a while and actually just do work without using the internet or anything like that so I turn my computer on and I don't check any emails and I don't do anything and I just do some coding uh, and get it going first thing in the morning before I've done anything else. Um, uh, and that uh, I think helps instead of me getting more into doing stuff in the morning. And so far it's worked out well. Uh, I'm just trying to increase the amount of time I do before I actually check my email slowly bit by bit every single day. Uh, and then just just trying not to use the internet. <laughs> it's just this is so much more productive when you don't. There's only so much stuff you have to do, which is check on the internet each day. With I find anyhow, but I spend a lot of time watching videos, and it's just getting ridiculous. So we're gonna do this. Do we need the instructions? I don't think we need the instructions, but we'll just take everything out of here. We've got some wings. This is actually like I got this one because of my inspiration, and I can just about oh get it out of the thing. No, I can't. Hold on. Uh, if you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm reaching up very high above the desk to pick something up, and it's a lot of stuff. So I made my little aeroplane. So this is this inspired me to make my little aeroplane. It's already broken. I don't know how I did that. The glue's come off there. That's okay. That's all right. That's not a break. That's actually just me putting things together. But the idea was, is like, make a terrible little thing, and then put a little motor on the front with a propeller and a little battery pack and see if you can just make one of these things and that would be like a fun little activity um, maybe if you're doing like a crafty day thing so anyway we're going to make the proper one the proper one because uh, because you can buy these and like this this bit of wood here is a bit trickier but um, like I guess I could just buy more wood from the, the hardware shop and chop it up into the right sizes. Uh, but anyway, the, the step number one is to lay everything out on the table, which is just who cares. And then step number two is to put the little rod, doweling rod things, or whatever they're called, into the wingy bits. And they do actually sell, like, popsicle sticks. Uh, I don't know if people call them that. Uh, I shouldn't use brand names. Uh, lollipop sticks, ice block sticks. Um lolly eye sticks I like the fact that these are slightly too big so this is actually quite a difficult problem to get that in um, with holes in them and I actually bought a packet of them but they have more holes than this they have like you know like a whole bunch of holes down here but I guess that this is a a common thing so and I've got quite a few pieces of wood rods this there's like a whole pile on the ground if I really wanted to 
I could switch them over and use like giant ones that have giant comical uh, wings, which would be uh, wonderful, I think. There's enough light here, I don't really tell. Um, look at that, that'd be so cool. Does it actually fit the same size? I probably shouldn't force it in in case it doesn't, in case they break the hole. I've got myself a rivet gun. Um, to learn to put rivets in. Actually, the most important thing is not to put rivets because putting rivets in is putting putting rivets in is pretty easy. Taking them out is the hard is the slightly harder bit. So I've got to practice taking out rivets until I'm good at it because I have to take rivets out of something and I don't want to damage the thing that I'm going to take them out of. Um, but anyway, it's kind of like rivets. Like I find it like you know, <laughs> this make reminds me of rivets. So it is a riveting thing to talk about. That's a joke that you always have to say. With rivets. So this thing here is like put one of these things on the end. Do I have to glue it on or do I have to stick it on with the little sticker things? So we have a variety of stickers here. So the question is what are the stickers actually used for? It might help to look at the front cover and guess. Well, do I actually, oh, I do have a twist. I, I realized actually just recently, this actually makes me feel good because I thought to myself, what's the best way of attaching a motor? And I tried when I first did a, a craft day trying to make things with motors uh, using little mounting brackets, but that was just like a dumb idea. Uh, but then I was like, oh, why don't I just use these things? So <laughs> cable ties for the win. Um, it doesn't look like you, oh, you use the stickers to hold the battery cover on. That's one use of stickers. You probably use stickers for there and there and there and we've got quite a few and they come in the same sizes so I have to assume that everything is held together with the stickers uh, which is a reasonable I think um, thing to believe so we'll just do it with the stickers but they do give you glue and it's like well this will take forever if I put the glue on um, I don't think it's going to stick for it's not going to stick so well to the bottom bit. Does it actually like have a picture of where you put the the glue? Well, I'm gonna have to trim this down, I think. Anyhow, <laughs> it's a bit longer than this thing. So, well, it does fit. Well, kind of. Did I put it on the wrong way? I put it on the wrong way. Okay. No, it's the same. No, it is, it is actually slightly wider going uh, with the grain or whatever against the grain. But I feel like this should have gone on the bottom bit. Um, I have misplaced my sharp tools. So we'll just use the not quite as sharp ones to chop off them. <laughs> Alright, we should probably save that. I'm going to save that bit because that bit's probably going to come in handy for sticking something else to something else. And then there's this bit here. Should have really not have centered that and put it to the side so that I had a bigger leftover bit. Oh well, learning experience. Well, you can do that. So this one here, I feel like this one here should be just glued. Like, like, well, I think I can leave that to the last minute and then I'll glue it on because that will save a piece of glue. Okay, so we've done that one, and then what was six? Six was putting these things on, and I just realized now that actually I should have paid attention to, I got it right, uh, they, aren't, they aren't different sizes. Okay, so one of them goes like that, and honestly it looks like you should glue that one. And then one of them goes here somewhere, approximately. I feel like you should glue, but they give you so many of these things. Well, look, we need we need at least two for here, so we can put those two there. Uh, and you need at least two to attach this. I'm going to say you need at least two to attach this, maybe just the one, to the actual body. Uh, and that just leaves one. <laughs> so that maybe you weren't meant to use them all. Uh, Why well, have I got another? Oh, I got another one from the previous thing sitting right on the desk. So I do have to glue something. Well, we don't have to use two. We can just use one for that, and then we can just use one each for here, um, and that will be fine. Because I think that will be stronger than. And this time we're going to do it properly. We're going to go and put it like on the edge. So that it goes across like that. And then we can chop that bit off the wrong way around. 
chop this bit off. Kind of. And before we lose it, I just lost it. <laughs> oh no, it's stuck to the paper. Don't do that. I need you. Okay. That bit can go on the side there. And so that one's going to go about there-ish, I guess. Who knows? Right, push it in. And then this one. And this should be work out quite nicely, actually, because we'll do the same trick here. Maybe I should chop it off. Actually, this is a better way. Um, before oh, I take... All right, so I haven't actually taken the top layer off. Is that a good idea, or should I have done it beforehand? Take it off now. And Look at that. Now, that, that works out well, doesn't it? <laughs> it's a bit like a little oh I've done it wrong haven't I oh no I've done something bad I have it's too late to fix it isn't it uh, what a disaster yes I put the hole on the wrong side well no. we should put a bit of glue in there it'll be fine it'll be fine yeah it's fine it's fine okay so we've got this done we haven't put the top bit on but that can wait to the end as we've said repeatedly uh, and then we have to put the wheels in. So this bit, this bit should be straightforward. Nothing to worry about here. Like there's no actual... Uh, I don't think there's any actual... Um, connecting things up. Like... Uh, what was I going to say? <laughs> the, uh, my brain's not working. This is what you get with this in the morning. I think some, I think I was thinking something to do with the gears, not connecting up the gears to the. I don't know which ones. Okay, these. This is the back one. Uh, and then there's little. What are the little red? What are these little? What little are these little things here for? Uh, probably for the motor, maybe. Oh no 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 no! I get it. Okay, got it. We're all set. So I'm gonna assume that one goes. Like. I haven't got anything to push down. That's not a good tool. Oh, actually, I was going to use this to test my riveting skills. Um, even though I think the holes are slightly big. But it doesn't matter. It's the perfect thing for doing that. Okay, so that one's in there. There's no point actually having it in the plane when you do the first wheel. But when you do the second wheel, it must be in the plane. All right. Okay. So it's a bit tight but it spins and this is where things get exciting so we'll learn from our previous mistakes and we will not stick it into the plane for no reason when we're doing the first hole uh, I feel like I've got another one I feel like that one should go on the bottom so that I'm not digging into the table and then we need to get one orange thing We need them both. One orange thing, and that one's going to go on. Alright, and then we're going to stick the plane bit on. Uh, kind of. Right, how much time have we got? 15 minutes. Gosh. Yes, I mean, I feel like I'm. This is like this. The, the main, the main, the main exciting part of this entire thing is the motor and the battery, and we haven't even got to that point. I guess that's a good thing because in the previous video when I did this, um, I feel like I should have done this the other way around, with the outside showing and not the inside, which which looks better. I don't know. Well, it's too late now. Uh, we'll have to go with the same style. Don't have to use anything okay and then we can sort of get there <laughs> oh it's moving around a bit and voila it moves and then we just have to put the wings on and i guess the wings according to this the wings go a little bit here uh, and i was going to use the sticky bit for that so we've got one more sticky bit for this just for the wings just for this little wing which i feel like is not enough sticky bit uh, but what will you do? And again, let's 
we can probably be smart about this and chop off and I do have some left over from the first one oh, I've lost it <laughs> there's only that little tiny bit which is stuck to the desk oh well we've got this this bit here so put that like there and then am I actually following the rule I, I am I am following the instructions right the wing is the next thing to put on uh, I could have done that <laughs> Got it. no 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 too late it's slightly off center that, that doesn't matter I should have just used a hot glue gun it's probably not actually it's way way off center uh, we can we can fix it I guess like probably anyone looking at this is going no he's got it wrong he's got it wrong don't don't go hanging paintings at my house um, don't care that's close enough right now now things now things really get exciting because we have to find the motor which is right here and what's the instructions say? The instructions say number 10 is to just tie this thing to the front, which is straightforward enough. Uh, I, I guess, I don't know, it could be actually really difficult to do this. So, in fact, I have the funny feeling it is, in fact, going to be infuriatingly tricky, but it may not. Okay, just approximately, and you kind of want that to be off to the side a bit. Probably want it underneath, don't you? Because you don't want to have to see that. <laughs> you kind of want it there. More tighter. Maximum tighterage-ness. Uh, <laughs> that's not as effective as I was hoping. Maybe you shouldn't, maybe I really shouldn't have stuck it at the bottom like that. What's the best, you can't tell where the best place to put it is. Well, it's not falling off, so that's okay. Um, I'm going to just trim it a little bit, and I'll trim it properly at the end, just in case I have to pull. I just realized I shouldn't have done that. Um, all right, I should use this tool first. You get that one last click out of it. It's not going to work. <laughs> <laughs> not going to get another click. I want it. Nope. Okay. So that was the best you're going to get. Now, this is the bit where it's all going to go and be a complete failure. And apparently I was supposed to put the motor on, the battery on. I haven't done that. Okay, no, we're all good. We're all good. Have I got enough room? I've only just got enough room because I didn't really plan this out. Um, and so let's just, let's just chuck this thing on. This bit's going to be the easy thing to get on so that's my opinion anyhow just stick two of them on what if you really were meant to glue everything together and the battery the battery box is the only thing that was meant to have this just imagine that what a what a crazy world it would be and I'm gonna put them slightly off like that and take that off take that off and here we go this is the moment to stuff it all up and I'm hoping I don't I'm kind of gonna there's not a lot of room for the battery wires <laughs> I've got it off center again so we have to be clever about this they want you to go under the wing like what's the the, the actual best way you can't go all the way around like that. You probably could actually, maybe. Um, if I didn't, oh, I do have to kind of, well, if I go underneath, I think going underneath is the best way. And this is the bit where it gets tricky because this wire is not tinned. So it's going to be hard to actually thread it through I think I've actually un... It was actually twisted the other way around to start off with. It was. Okay, I think I should have just stuck with having... Um, I should have twisted it while the plastic bit was on the end. So we'll try that with the red one. Uh, and also, I should pay attention to which side the wires go to, because otherwise the propeller is going to go backwards. So... <laughs> This is where I think I've gone and made a mistake, haven't I? 
Just by the looks of things, this is just really difficult <laughs> to get. To actually get it to fold over. I've never had this much trouble. You kind of have to, like, I have to, I have to get, all right. Huh. Every time it, well, this is going to, this is going to be rubbish. Well, maybe if I fold it over. And I think I made that way, ow. <laughs> ah, that hit my fingers. So, uh, like, if this was just tinned at the end, which means that there's like a layer of extra metal over the top, so it's all not multi-stranded. If you can't see what I mean, you, know, you focus in, you can probably not see it. Um, and that's what makes this whole project difficult. And it's this one thing. Like, if I was using these in like an educational setting or a childcare setting, I'd probably go through and tin them myself. Uh, beforehand because <laughs> it would be too frustrating all right so it's not actually I do like okay we have to look at the picture so it's got the black one on the left right left right well whatever that is whichever whichever way you're looking at it so from my side it's actually the right so it would actually be your left so <laughs> that's nice um, all right so I'm trying to do it with my hands because I'm not going to cheat and use pliers because if I did, uh, you know, again, <laughs> that makes it kind of, that's probably the best you're going to get. <laughs> like, it's not perfect by any stretch. I don't think it's got a very good connection. So will it fly? So I'm just going to go under the wing for this one. So I feel like if I just, if the maybe... It's too thick. You can't. You can't. The nice. The nice thing to do would be able to go through. Like now, Ooh, if I do it anymore, I'm going to break it. So the other idea was I should twist it before I take the plastic off, and then slowly just twist it as I'm taking it out. And that actually worked a lot better. So that's the way you should do it. Twist it out as you take it out, and then you've got this one. here and we can kind of turn it <laughs> oh it's not turning as well as I did the last one the last one was a work of art figuratively speaking I think that's close enough it doesn't have to be that good all it has to do is kind of <laughs> I've definitely got my wires a lot lot less neat and tidy than the previous one um, if only I had one more sticky bit, then I could have stuck the stuck them down. If only I had sellotape, uh, which I do, I just have no idea where. <laughs> no, I cannot see any sellotape on my desk. So, but I do have, uh huh, I do have a sm small bit of blue tack. So we'll just put the blue tack, or whatever people call this in whatever country you're in. Uh, this is actually not branded. This is actually a blue tack brand. It's fine. All right, so there we go. That's kind of a bit better. I think we can trim this whole thing off because we're not going to try it again. So, and we're ready to go. We haven't got that. We haven't got that with the end bit on. So the only time I'm using the glue at all in this entire thing is at the very end. Did I actually do that on this one already? I haven't actually opened either of these. So time to open or I could just not open them <laughs> and use one that I've already got. So. Oh, we haven't put that. We haven't put that. We haven't put the actual thingy on. And I just realised that you could have, you could actually switch them. Can you switch them over? Is it the same? Oh, you can. You can turn them over. Maybe. So, oh. Well, I'm going to put it on without 
securing. Oh, which way do I want it? If it's, I don't know which way it's going to spin. All right, well we need to we need to find out we need to find out which way it's going to spin. Okay, hold on, let's get some batteries. I don't know if three minutes left. Okay, well we're just going to put this in. <laughs> out which way it spins, and then we will put the propeller on. It's spinning this way. I don't know if I wanted to do that. I feel like it should spin that way. <laughs> so if I put it this way, um, I feel like, no, it definitely sh should have gone the other way around. Because um, I want it to spin this way, don't I? Like if you're looking at the propeller, it should spin that way, but it's not going to spin that way. It's going to spin the opposite way. Well, having said that, it does actually work. <laughs> so, that's fine. So, let's just properly put this on the end. Um, except I've lost the... There's a little, there was a little orange extra bit. There was this thing here. I think this is entirely for decoration. It has no purpose. Um, that goes there. It looks a lot nicer, doesn't it? Look at that. <laughs> Alright, and now... Oh, I did a bad thing. I did a bad thing. Now it's too... Oh, no, it's okay. I can fix it. What we will do is get one more small bit of blue tack and just put it at the bottom of the motor on each side so that the motor doesn't slip back because if it slips back then it's not gonna it's gonna touch the front of the plane um, all right let's see does it actually move for some reason I don't know why it does I thought it would need to go the other way around but who knows Whoa. <laughs> Well, it does work. That was quite fun. That was quite cool. So, yeah, that's that's that that thing has actually been finished. Should I have had this a bit further forward? Probably. It doesn't really look like a plane. <laughs> is that how they did it? That is how they did it. It is roughly how they did it. Like they do have the front wheel further forward than the wing, which I think doesn't look as good. I guess you're kind of like, like on here. <laughs> like it's not a very good example, but. Um, yeah, that the, the, you should be able to get it over there. But that was kind of cool. Um, so thanks for watching. Oh, we forgot one last thing. Oh no, we forgot it. We haven't done it. It's and I've lost the thing, and I've only got 20 seconds left. But you have to imagine that I actually did put the the end bit on, and that I know where I put it. Uh, but thanks for watching, and uh, like, share, and subscribe. It will look a lot better with that. Bye. Just looking. The time runs out. Not quite now. Bye. Oh, here it is. Oh, wait, I have a minute left. Oh, my gosh, I misread the whole thing. This is going to be an exciting not end of the thing. So I've got an entire minute left. I found this, so we're going to do this. We're going to, we're going to, we're going to, we're going to finish this. I didn't, I didn't actually, I don't actually know how to use this thing. How to, oh, you just pull it out. Okay. Put the glue on. Again, made a mistake. This is too far, too close to the back. So it's not, oops glues everywhere and now look at it that's pretty um, can I actually close it yep <laughs> cool thanks for watching again um, that doesn't make it look any better and I'm going to leave it for hours bye